Hello, and welcome to another edition of Cap for Comparison Picks. My name's Ranj, and today I will be giving you the picks for the Vaishaya League, ooh, excuse me, Belarus Premier League matches for Sunday, July 12th. Um, we have three new matches tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday, July 12th. We have uh, 9.30, 11.30, and 1.30. I'm going to do them all. I am a little distracted, because, but it's late. Seems like every Saturday night I'm watching UFC, but I got to still do the video for Sunday. So I have to multitask. I got to kind of keep one eye. Holloway's going to win this anyway, so that's why I was like, tonight I got to get this done so I can uh, zip through this so I can watch Usman beat up Mastaval, Masvidal, whatever, Jorge, and uh, call it a good night, okay? So, tomorrow at 9.30, we have Energetic BGU, number four on the table. They are hosting Rupresk, number 11 on the table. Energetic comes in with a record of nine wins, two losses, I mean, Nine wins, two draws, and five losses. In the past five matches, they are two wins, one draw, two losses. They are the big favorite at minus 120 at home. They are taking on Rue Brest, who is, comes in with a record of five wins, Seven draws, four losses. They're number 11 on the table. They're the underdog at plus 265. Last five for Rubrest. Two wins, two draws, and a loss. Now, if you think uh, they need it, you can buy a point. But it's going to drop that beautiful two, plus 265 down to a negative 150. Minus 150, it's a little too much juice. Energetic, like I said, they're the favorites at minus 120. It's not much juice. If you think they're good enough to cover a goal, it brings it up to a plus number, plus 115. Okay, so the last match for Energetic was a great win, great victory at Bait Borisov, which I won. That I chose that. They won 0 to 1. Okay, the last match for Rue Brest was a win also versus Dynamo Minsk and that one I got wrong because I thought Dynamo Minsk was going to beat them but they didn't. Uh, Rubres won one to zero. Okay now head to head this is it got a little fuzzy because because Rubres is uh, Older crap, where's that paper now? Um, oh, right here. Because Rubress is from the relegation, they're from the reserve league. Um, they there's only one head to head match ever between the two teams, and that was just this past March 20th, and that was, um, Energetic one. One was right down. Zero. Oh, I'll put the date first. Oh man, really? Come on, Ranch. Figure it out. Okay. The only match they've had against each other was March 27th of this past year, in where Energetic won zero to one okay now because of that i can't have just three scores up here coincidentally they're all under 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 but i'm going to throw a couple more i'm going to throw two of the last of each team energetic heat their last two well they got this win against bait they have another huge win five to zero over Slavia, and then they had a zero to zero draw with uh, Dynamo Minsk. 
Now Rube Rest, of course they had the win here, and before that they had another win against Belshina, 3-0. to zero. And prior to that, they had a one-to-one -one draw. So now we have some scores up here so we can see what we got for total. Uh, total set at two and a half. If you think it's gonna go over, that's your plus money, plus 110. Things gonna go under, you gotta pay the juice. That means the odds makers think it's gonna go under. Okay, and that's because under, 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 over, over. So of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven scores on the board, five of them went under. That's telling me this is most likely going to go under the two and a half. Okay. Um, now let's get into players to look for. Now this is pretty interesting because my once favorite player, Yasser Yakshiboyev, is no longer with Energetique. He is now playing with Shakhtar Sologorsk. Like they needed him. They're already a superpower. They're already unstoppable. He, they played today. They beat up Gordea. They beat him, uh, was it, four to one. Unreal. Yakshiboyev, he scored for them. Oh, also, Artem Markopov scored for them, too. He plays on Shock Tours of course. He went there from Gordea. So today, he played his brother, Sergei. Sergei plays for Gordea. They played today. Arkham scored his first goal of the whole season today for Shock Tours of course. And who else do they got? They got uh, Valerie Lisa, or Vitaly Lisakovich. Man, their shock tour is loaded now, especially now they got Yasser Yakshiboyev. And it's so sad because he was the star. He, he's the star of the league. He's leading the league in goals with 10 on the season as of today. But Energetik is now without him. So I had a look and the next guy in line for their team, his name is... Uh, Dusan Bakic. He is from. What is it running? Oh, it's pouring. It's raining outside. Anyway, Dusan Bakic. 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 He's got three scores. And. Um, uno momento, por favor. He is Christ, really? All right. I didn't write the damn jersey numbers again, but it only take me a second. Just bear with me. Okay, who we got? Energetic. Right here. Oh, look at that. The second one I pulled. Okay. Uh, Dusan Bacic. Bacic. What's good, now that I have to look up his jersey number, I'll tell you how much he makes, too. Okay, let's go. You get Chris Nosko, Vasco, Tway. David Tway, he's got two goals, but he was not their leading scorer, so I didn't. There he is, Dusan Bakic. He is number 17. He is now the star of their team. Well, he's got the most scores on Energetic now that Yasser... Yakshi Boyev, cross him off, douchebag. <laughs> he went from being my favorite to being my worst now. I, I don't like him anymore. But he, uh, it's, I know, whatever. I was starting to go lean. I was starting to fade him anyway because I heard he was such an arrogant douche. I mean, I don't know. I don't know him personally, but this is like things I hear in the chat. He never passes the ball, blah, blah, blah. He's arrogant. He thinks he's the best. Well, when you think you're the best, because he is the best. <laughs> but anyway, Dusan Bakic, he makes 110 grand a year. Okay, Yakshi Boyev was making 330k. I'm sure now at Shak Shakhtar, where their their budget is double Energetics, I'm sure he's making a lot more. 
okay what i mean by budget like for example energetique's budget there for the salary is can i see that 3.36 million let's let's just just for shits and giggles let's look at shock tour solar gores okay it's right here shock tour oh poor shock tour with all your stars no wonder you're in sole place of well no bait well bait they tied today bait did bait had a draw today um shock tour solar gores what, what did, I just showed you Energetique was at 3 million or something, 3.3 million or something. 11 point, almost 12 million, 11.99 million. To 3.36 million for Energetique. Anyway, that being said, yeah, Dusan Bakic, he's their new star. He's the guy to look out for, for Energetique. Okay, now, for Rue Brest, they also lost their top star. Their top star, his name was uh, Abdele Diallo. He was the Senegalese guy who was from Senegal. He had four scores on the season, but now he plays for Rue Brest's parent team, Dynamo Brest. Remember I told you back in uh, like three years ago, Rue Brest was, it might have been close, recent, more recent three, I don't know. But Rue Brest at one time was the farm team, the reserve team for Dynamo Brest. Well, anyway, Dynamo Brest was like, we want your best player. They got him in Abdule Diallo from Senegal. Okay, um, so now... I had to dig, do some research. Their next uh, highest scoring player was Vladislav, or is, is Vladislav Vasilyev. He's from Kazakhstan. Vladislav Vasilyev. He's got three scores on the season. Yeah, he's their new he's their new star. All these people are getting rid of their stars to all these to the great. You know why? Because all these is getting it's getting that part time of the season where all the top teams want to stay top teams, so they're taking all the strength from the little teams. Take their best player, Dynamo Breast takes Rue Breast best player. Shock Tour took theirs, um, and like Shock Tour also took like I said Artemarkopov from. Gordea, who I thought went back to Russia to play. That's what the transfer market said. But then, oh, he was playing today and he scored a goal. Um, okay, they're still hugging it on the cage. Um, so, if, you know what? Because Yaksir Boyev is no longer with um, Energetik, I would usually take whoever take the other team to beat them, but Rue Brest lost their top player too, so they're in the same position. Energetic is playing at home; they are a better team. They beat Bait without Yaksir Boyev too. I might add that he did not score though. The guy that scored, his last name was uh, Usur. Started with a U. Usurab. And his first name was like, um, I don't know, some Russian or Belarusian, like a Stanislav maybe, or, you know what, where's that sh damn sheet? I'll tell you who it was. I looked it up today. Okay. Um, he was not a back. I think the one, there he is. This is who scored scored against Bait. His name was Shakbaz Umarov. That's where the U was. He's also he's a Uzbekistani, just just like Yaksir Yaksir Yaksiboy is, is a Uzbekistani, Uzbekistan from Uzbekistan. But uh, Shakbaz Umarov was the guy that scored against Bait. He's still on the team. 
But he's got two goals on the season rather than Bobkic. So that's why I put Bobkic up there. Okay. But anyway, I'm taking Energetic. I'm not going to take him to cover a goal. I'm just going to take him money line. Pay that little juice. That minus 120. That's nothing. You know. I don't like paying juice, but minus 120 is not bad. I'll pay that. Okay, so there's that. Uh, the score on this game is going to be low. It's going to, let's go one to zero. Okay, that's going under. All right, moving on. Time check at 11.30 tomorrow morning. We have Dynamo Mints. Uh, what are they, number seven on the table. Number seven, taking on FC Minsk. Number 14 on the table. Dynamo Minsk comes into this match with a record of seven wins, two draws, seven losses. They are the big favorite at minus 140. If you think they're good enough to cover a goal, you can get them at plus 100, even number. Last five there, three wins, one draw, one loss. Pretty darn good. Okay. FC Minsk, on the other hand, are four on the season, four wins, three draws, seven losses. They're a big underdog at plus 320. Their last five, zero wins, two draws, three losses. Now, if you think they can keep it together for an you want to buy them a goal, that plus 320 goes down to a minus 130. But still, that's not that bad a juice to get to buy a goal if you want to go that route. The draw is set at plus 260, just like up there. Oh, look it. And the over-under. Hold on. Oh, Volkanovski won. He must have been... He wasn't winning on the scorecards. It must have been a knockout or a submission. Whatever. 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 The ne this next fight, though, I got I to gotta see. So I got I to gotta zip through this now. All right. That moment, um, their last match was a loss at Rubrest. Rook Breast, it was one to zero. Okay, last match for Mints. Marker change. Last match for Mints was a draw. Oh, the chat room was blow, blowing up too. The draw at Belshina, and I grabbed an even worse marker. How is that even, how, how do I let that shit happen? I grab a worse marker, okay. Draw at versus Balshina, and that was, I didn't write it down, I, I want, son of a bitch, I was not, see, I put the show together when I was watching these fights, so I was like, sporadic. Um, it's kind of important, too, I gotta know what this draw score was for Mints. Where's that sheet? Whatever. You know what? I think we're going to call it one-to-one. -one. I don't know if that's true. I really don't. I'm not going to base my over-under on that, okay? Because they have head-to-head -head matches, all right? Okay, we have back in... Um, oh, these are all uh, 2020 also. No, they're not. Only one of them is. First match, we have back in April 5th of 2019, they had a clean sheet draw, 0-0. Zero, zero. Then um, we have Dynamo Minsk had a victory in August 11th of 2019. That was 3-2. to two. And then the most recent match was March 28th of 20. And where FC Minsk won three to two. Isn't that coincidental? 
Okay. Now, Dynamo Mints, the player to look for, to keep an eye out for, Evgeny Shikavka. He's solid. He's been on the team. He's been on the board. He didn't go anywhere. He didn't come from anywhere. Shikavka. He's got six goals on the season. Um, and I'll tell you his number in just a second. Oh, man. Kind of moments. Okay, what we have Evgeny Shikavka. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, Volkanovski. He must have either knocked out or submitted Holloway. I don't know. I'm not watching. Maybe I should have kept what No, it wouldn't matter. Evgeny Shikavka is number nine. And he makes 220000 a year. Okay. For Minsk. Now, let me pull their crap. Okay. Minsk, their best player. Here's another one. They lost their best player. Their best player was uh, Vitaly. I don't know if it's Vitaly or Vladimir, but it's V. His name is uh, Kavashinsky, Kavashinsky, and he has been on the board before. He had five goals. He was FC Minsk's star. It's, uh, it was Vladimir, Vladimir Kavashinsky, I'm pretty sure. I could picture his face. I just, I miss, mess, I mess up the first names all the time. Cause there's Valerie Gorbachev, there's Vladimir, Kavashinsky, then there's Vitaly Vasilad, Vasilyev, or no, that's Vladislav. Vitaly, who's, oh, Lisa Kovic, Vitaly. There's so many V names. But anyway, Kavashinsky went to Dynamo Minsk. So he's playing his former team. Should I put him over here? I should. I should. Kavashinsky. He's because he was on the he was on the top. 15. Kavish Chin Sky. And five scores. Kavish Chin Sky is number 10. Okay. Um so now I had to do some research. Their new best player, his name is Roman Grabovsky. Roman, I sounds familiar. So I think he might have been on the board earlier in the season. Grabovsky. Roman Grabovsky. He's only got three goals on the season. Still, that's the new stars. The new stars. He's from Kazakhstan. I have nothing more to say about FC Minsk. He was not the guy that got the coronavirus back in the day. You know, speaking of coronavirus, the Slutsk Dynamo Breast game was canceled because there was an outbreak of coronavirus in the some somebody in Dynamo Breast, I heard, contracted it. So that's why that game was canceled. I don't really know much more information about it and it's hard to find. But um, this game, uh, I'm definitely paying the juice and taking Minsk or Dynamo Minsk to beat FC Minsk on the money line because they took their best player and they have, I, I didn't circle that for a player prop bet, you know, but you know what, as I said before, if they're on the board, they're, it, they're good for a player prop bet, okay? So, take Dynamo Minsk money line. This final score is going to be, let's see, we have a under, under, over, over, under. It's coin flip, it go either way. We're gonna call it, um, 
Minsk is not going to score. Dynamo Minsk is going to score. They're going to score like three. Three to zero. That'll go over at the plus, it'll be a plus 110. Bookmakers think it's going to go under though, so I could be wrong, but you know what? With the firepower that Dynamo Minsk has now, Kavashinsky and Chikavka, right there, they should, they should be able to, you know, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep it three to three to zero, three to zero. Mark, mark it, mark it down. Write it down, because that's what's gonna happen. Finally, all right, I still got time. They didn't even come out to the come out yet. Finally, we have at 1:30 we have Vitesk taking on Neymarodno. Now Vitesk comes into this. Uh, with a record of five wins, seven, what, what number, oh, they're number 10. I got me, I'm so discombobulated. Number 10, with a record of five wins, seven draws, four losses. No, they're taking on Neiman Grodno. Neiman is, <coughs> excuse me. This guy's a fraud, he's a phony. Neiman Grodno comes into this rank number three. Awesome, they're awesome. I used to hate Neiman Grodno, but now I love them. They're, my, they're awesome. Okay, if Energetique didn't get rid of Yakshivoyev, they'd be my favorite. But now they got rid of him, I don't know. I still want to keep the faith. I still want to like him. So I'm not I'm not calling him shit yet, but um these two teams, Neiman and Vitapsk, I like both these teams. But let's examine, let's get look at the breakdown and see which one I think is gonna win. Neiman comes in at number three on the table with a record of nine wins, two draws, and four losses. They are the favorite, not by much, but they are the are they're the favorite plus money favorite at plus one fifty. Viteps are the at home underdogs at plus one fifty five. Now this the spread doesn't make sense. It never has when it comes to a half a goal. But you can get half a goal and it'll drop that plus 155 to a minus 155. Yeah, that's right. And I said it right. I'm not making that shit up. That's how it, how it is printed. On, I got these from uh, Bovada. Uh, hold on. Go get the sheet. Just so I can back my shit up. And that's what hurts. Yeah, Bovada. I got these from Bovada. Here it is, if you want to see it. Right there, Vitebsk, Neiman Grodno. There's this, there's this things. Look, zero, min, that's PK, or plus a half at minus 155. The money line is at plus 155. So, that's stupid. Anyway, Neiman comes in the favorite plus 150 they are five and oh in their last five actually they're in their last eight they're eight and oh in their last eight they won eight straight eight straight unbelievable they're phenomenal now they're the, they're sleepers they're the sleeper team they're gonna be I took them for a futures bet like uh, last week I can only do that on Bovada though I tried to do it on five dimes some reason I can't find the futures for Belarus League anymore. I have a I have a futures bet with Energetique on five dimes, and one for um. No, yeah, just Energetique. I was gonna take one for a Torpedo. Thank goodness I didn't. But I didn't. Um. Anyway, let me move on with this because now they're walking out. There's there's a uh, game bread. Jorge Masvidal. Okay, the last match for Vitebsk was 
a draw at Gordea. That was two to two. Okay. The uh, last match for Neiman Grodno was, of course, a win. It was versus Ishlock, Ilock. That was one to zero. Okay. Head to head matches. We have, uh, ooh, two, 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 two. We have ties. Okay. We have a uh, August 24th, 2019. Clean sheet, zero to zero. Then we have a February 2nd, 2020 clean sheet, zero to zero. Then finally, the last, most recent game, March 29th, uh, Neiman Grodno won two to zero. Okay. Players to watch. Uh, Vitebsk has Ion Nikolescu, and he is a Moldovian. Nikolescu, Moldovian, he is tied for third in the league with eight goals. Tied for third. Like I said, Yaks Yervoyev, after today, he's got ten. Uh, Gigum. Oh, no, Gigum dropped. I forgot who's that. Oh, it's right here. I'll tell you right, just right here. Okay, Yaks. Oh. Lisa Kovic, Vitaly Lisa Kovic, also on shop towards Solagors. He has nine. He today he did not score, but he did have an assist. Okay. Um, the player to look for at Neiman, Gigum Katamayan. The Armenian, he has got seven scores on the season. Okay. Um Oh, son of a bitch. I gotta do the damn numbers. Neil Grodno. Who else is there? You know what? Screw it. I, I don't have time to do the numbers. I didn't do them for half these guys. So whatever. Um, I'm taking... In this, I'm sorry. I gotta go. I gotta watch this game. In this, I'm taking Neiman. Moneyline. Range. All right, Nigerian, Kamara Usman's coming out now, so I got to make this quick. I'm taking Neiman Grodno, and the score is going to be, let's see what we got. Uh, under, uh, under, 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 one over. It's going under the 2.5. No, I don't, I don't believe it's going to go under. I think it's going to be, uh, I'm going to go with a one, one to two score. So that's going to go over three, and there it is. So, to recap, time check. We've got Energetique beating Rue Brest by a tight score, one to zero. Dust the draw, because it could draw, but it's going to go under that two and a half. Then I have Dynamo Minsk. Oh, they're going to beat up on FC Minsk, especially FC Minsk lost their star. Two dynamo minutes. I wonder if he's going to score and laugh at him. Be like, oh, you guys should have kept me. Uh, I don't know. I'm talking out my ass. I don't know. But dynamo minutes going to win the, win this handedly. Three to zero. I might be being nice with that. Might be like four to one or four to zero. Honestly. Whatever. It's going to go over the two and a half. Then finally, 130, I have uh, Neiman Grodno, my new favorite. They're going to beat uh, my second favorite. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know yet. I do like Vitebs, though. But Neiman Gradno is going to beat them tomorrow on the money line. Final score is going to be 1 to 2. There you have it. Gather your info. Place your bets and cash those tickets. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. I will put time markers in there, but man, this is a good show. It went so fast, right? Because I wasn't effing around. I was a little bit, went off topic. Just a little bit. I would have spent a lot more time with the players. I would have told you what every single one of these people made. But like I said, there's a lot of new guys on the board. He's new. He's new. And I think he might be new too. 
new guys on the board, just too much crap, especially for Sunday games. And I got the Usman fight starting right now. So thanks for watching. Click the bell. Give me a thumbs up. Put in the comments. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you just stumbled across this channel through...